ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone! Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang with Season 3 of K-Check! Today, we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and how far they will go. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Emma is a health sciences student of Ateneo de Manila University and aspires to be a doctor. She loves spending time with her friends, going to local music gigs, and going to the beach. She also prides herself in being a cat mom. Back with a vengeance naman si JV, a business major from UP Diliman, who made it to the semi-finals last season. He loves to play badminton and he also enjoys jogging and cycling around campus. He is a fan of Twice and Beanie. Salamin, salamin. <laughs> Yan ang paggagawa natin sa kanya mamaya. <laughs> Titus is a secondary education student of UP Diliman. His hobbies are watching anime and reading manga. Last but not least, we have Alex who is a business administration student from UP Diliman. Her hobbies are watching shows and anime and listening to music. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Sunod naman, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. What is the title of the 1996 Fernando Poe Jr. film and the TV series starring Coco Martin featuring police officer Cardo Dalisay? JV. Ang Provinciano. Ang Provinciano is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What three colors compose the flags of France? the United Kingdom, and the United States. JV? Blue, red, and white. The answer is correct. K-check. In geometry, what is the radius of a circle? Whose circumference... Yes, sir, I thought it was the... Sorry, never mind. So we will finish the question. In geometry, what is the radius of a circle? Whose circumference is 20 pi? The correct answer is 10. Although Emma said, butin lang, nobody got the answer. <laughs> Question number four. With more than 500 million copies sold by the end of 2023, which creation of Eichiro Oda is the best-selling manga in history? Titus. One Piece po. One Piece is the correct answer. k -check. Question number five. A person described as a Muscovite lives in what city? Mm, I think na una yung bell sa iyo. JV, the correct answer is? But what would you have answered? Uh, it was just a guess. M M Macau? No, the correct answer is Moscow. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Itong si Titus, napaka-expressive sa kanyang mga feelings. No? <laughs> Question number six. Which female singer received a standing ovation together with the cast of the movie Emilia Perez at the 2024 Cannes Film Festival? Ay, nahuli din si Titus. The correct answer is? Ay, hindi. Well, guess lang po. Ano yung guess mo? Taylor Swift po. <laughs> Taylor Swift na naman. <laughs> the correct answer is Selena Gomez. Question number seven. What horned animal has a name associated with discussions about the greatest of all time? 
JV. Goat. Goat is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. In what Korean martial art did Kurt Barbosa win a gold medal at the 2023 Southeast Asian Games? JV. Taekwondo. Taekwondo is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. Found near Mount Apo in Mindanao, the Philippine Trogon is a very colorful bird that is known by what literary name? JV. Sarimanok. Sarimanok is incorrect. Emma. Ibong Adarna. Ibong Adarna is the correct answer. K check. Napaka dainty naman magpress ni Emma ng, <laughs> ng buzzer as compared to the three other contestants here. Question number 10. With its headquarters in Paraguay, the Comebol is the governing body of football in what continent? JV. South America. South America is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What public transportation organization that organized a strike on May 2, 2024, has a name that is the vernacular term for a steering wheel? The correct answer is Manibela. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What province can you find the Mayon Volcano? JV. Albay. Albay is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabi, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. JV is in the lead with 60 points, followed by Emma and Titus with 10 points each. At si Alex naman pwede pang humabol sa susunod na round. So, nandito na tayo sa part, Atorni, na mas kinikilala natin ng ating mga contestants. Ito ang... Kay Chica! Simula natin kay Emma. Nagulat sila. Okay. <laughs> si Emma, so bakit mo gusto maging doktor? I think I just want to help people in my own way using my talents, which is, I think, my brains. Yeah. Tandaan mo kaming lahat pag doktor ka na. <laughs> <laughs> and aside from that, cat mom din itong mm. si Emma. So, na-consider mo na rin ba napasukin yung pagiging veterinarian? Yes. I just think that there are dying people that need my help more than the animals. But I thought about it also. Cat lover. Yeah, cat lover. Hindi yeah. <laughs> ako makarinig. Oh, okay. <laughs> Although you're a cat lover yourself. I have seven cats. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, obviously, hindi po ako cat person. But I'm a dog, dog person. person. So, maraming salamat, Emma. Ito naman po ang nagbabalik na si JV. Welcome back, JV. Among today's contestants, ikaw ang mas nakakaalam how this goes and how this feels. Naghanda ka ba for this comeback of yours? I wish I did po. Pero kasi finals week ngayon sa UP, so uh, wala kami tulog halos lahat. So, yeah. Hindi po masyado nakapag- Ay, meron ka bang advice naman para dun sa mga... Fellow contestants mo. Hala. Uh, I don't know if I'm qualified to give an advice, <laughs> pero uh, enjoy yun lang yung ano, game. Oh, yeah. That's correct. The it's the journey. Yeah. He enjoyed the journey so much the first time, he's back to enjoy it again. <laughs> di ba? Thank you so much, JV. And thank you rin kay Emma. Pero syempre, babalikan din natin si na Titus and Alex later. Pero ngayon, paghandaan naman natin ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. K -check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. At this point, isang recap na mga scores. JV is in the lead with 60 points. Emma and Titus are tied with 10 points each. And Alex with a bit of catching up to do. Ngayon, wag na natin patagalin pa. Ituloy na natin ang second part ng... Kay Chica! Kay Titus naman tayo. So Titus, bakit po naman gustong maging teacher? Um, siguro po, ano po kasi ako, product po ako ng public school. And... I won't go from my experience, I never actually experienced yung quality education po. And, and at the same time, ang pinaka inistrib ko rin po ay maging science teacher po, magaling na science teacher. Kasi I never had a science teacher na talaga pong nindoctrinate po kami ng mga concepts na may hirap about sa science, ganyan. Tapos wala lang, parang I feel, I feel, 
I feel left behind sa mga peers ko kasi wala akong ganung klase ng educational background. Kaya, mm. So yun yung mission niya. Oo, okay. may your tribe increase, no? We need to to develop our school system so yes. much more. Medyo nahuhuli na tayo, no? So maraming salamat sa iyo, Titus. Uh, si Alex naman, what shows have gotten your attention lately at paborito mo ang manood, di ba? Um, right now, uh, hindi shows, pero anime. Binabalikan ko yung Ghibli movies kasi pag nasa-stress ako, parang comfort movie ka siya. Ikaw din? Hindi pa, pero sige, pag nasa-stress ako ulit, <laughs> panoorin natin. <laughs> maraming maraming salamat. Talagang paborito nating itong portion na to kasi we gain so much insight and, you know, we get to know more about our contestants. So, maraming salamat, contestants. And now, it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize. Kasi dito sa second round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, wag na tayong mag pa. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. James Naismith is credited with inventing which ball game in Springfield, USA in 1891? Titus. I'm just gonna guess. Basketball. Basketball is correct. Key check. Question number two. What is the real name of the six foot five wrestler known as The Rock? Ay, real name? Dwayne Johnson lang alam ko. Dwayne Johnson is actually correct. Ah, okay. K-check. Alam ko. K-check. Okay. Alright. Question number three. What is the only country that shares a land border with Portugal? GBE. Spain. Spain is correct. K-check. Question number four. Which word that comes from Latin for a coming or an arrival refers to the four week period before Christmas. Maybe. Advent. Advent is correct. K check. Question number five. Which TV series that ran from 2017 to 2023 is based on the characters of Archie Comics? Maybe. Riverdale. Riverdale is correct. K check. Question number six in math. What sum do you get when you add the smallest prime number to the greatest negative integer? The correct answer is 1. Question number 7. In chemistry, what do you call an element like boron or silicon that has properties intermediate between those? Emma. Metalloid. Let me proceed. Between those of a metal and non-metal, you said metalloid. That is correct. K check. Question number eight. Constantinople is an ancient city in modern-day Turkey or the Republic of Turkey that is now known by what name? Emma. Istanbul. Istanbul is correct. K check. Question number nine. Which actress played the role of Hermione Granger? In the Alex. Um, Emma Watson. Let me proceed. In the Harry Potter film series from 2001 to 2011, you said Emma Watson. That is correct. K okay, check. Question number 10. With what female singer did the Black Eyed Peas record the single A Girl Like Me, which reached the top 10 in 12 countries? The correct answer is Shakira. Question number 11. Calabarzon is composed of Cavite, Laguna, Rizal, Quezon, and what province? JV. Batangas. Batangas is correct. K check. Last question for this round, number 12. Which actor starred in the films Total Recall, Commando, and Eraser, as well as the Terminator film series? Titus. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> that is correct. K check. And that's it for round two. Maraming salamat, Jules. Tinangan natin how our contestants did. Well, 
JB's in the lead with 140 points, followed by Titus with 70, Emma with 50, and Alex with 20 points. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban dahil ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check, everyone! Isang points recap ulit. JV in the lead with 140 points. Titus with 70, Emma with 50, and Alex with 20 points. Pero abangan po natin dahil meron po tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Tama. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. <clears throat> what prehistoric megalithic structure consisting of an outer ring of standing stones, each... Emma! Stonehenge. Um, let me finish the question. Each around 13 feet high and 7 feet wide and topped by connecting horizontal lintel stones can be found in the United Kingdom. A. The Loch Ness Monster B. Camelot C. Mount Doom D. Stonehenge E. Easter Island Heads Emma, Stonehenge is correct. K. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Ricky, next question. What is the term for the seasonal movement of animals from one region to another? Titus. Migration. Migration is the seasonal movement of animals from one region to another, often to find food, breed, or escape harsh when, uh, weather conditions. Okay, check. Next question, Prof. Lu. Okay, tanong sa Asian history. Which country in Asia was the first to gain independence from the British? A. India B. Ceylon C. Hong Kong D. Malaysia E. Burma JV. A. India It was on August 50, 1947 that India was declared independent from British colonialism and the reins of control were handed over to the leaders of the country. The correct answer is A, India. Tama ka, JV. Okay, check. After our second round of questions. But it was a very tight. happy first round for yes. our experts. Diba? Three for three for the first round. Tignan natin kung matutuloy yan. Sa susunod na round, Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Uh, Michelangelo's monumental statue, David, depicts him standing with most of his weight on his right foot and his upper body slightly tilting to the left, creating the impression of dynamism and movement. What is this pose called? A. S-curve B. Contraposto C. Antipasto D. Archaic E. Frontal. Alex. B. Contraposto. Contraposto means counter pose. Contraposto is correct. K. Okay, check. Next question, Prof. Ricky. Which organ system is primarily responsible for transporting oxygen and nutrients throughout the body? JV. Circulatory system. The circulatory system, which includes the heart and blood vessels, is responsible for transporting oxygen, nutrients, and other essential substances throughout the body. The respiratory system handles gas exchange, and the digestive system processes food. Okay, check. Sabi ni Emma, that was right up my alley. <laughs> Pero mas mabilis mag si JV. At happy pa rin si Prof. Lee. At happy pa rin. Tingnan natin kung happy si Prof. Lu. Okay, Philippine culture. What Philippine town is famous for its Gigantes Festival held every November 22 to 23? A. Lukban, Quezon. 
B. Obando Bulacan C. Anggono Rizal D. Pulilan Bulacan E. Balayan Batangas JV C. Anggono Rizal The Higantes Festival is a local festival held annually in Anggono Rizal where hundreds of giant paper mache puppets are paraded representing the common people's mockery of the Hacienda owners during the Spanish colonial period. The correct answer is C. Anggono Rizal. Okay, check. Thank you so much, Prof. Lu. And Our uh, experts are happy. Yay. Three for three <laughs> in the second round. Except for Prof. Sophie, no? Kanina. <laughs> Laban sa susunod. Okay. Alright, so at this point, end na tayo ng first half, so... So, a points recap. JV is in the lead with 230 points. Titus has 100 points, Emma has 80 points, and Alex has 50. Okay, pero siyempre, meron pa tayong last half at meron niyang 180 points. So, pwede pang humabol. Okay, simulan na natin, attorney. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Hot ceramic material originating from China was so prized in Europe during the 16th and 17th centuries that it was called white gold. Titus. Um, just a wild guess. Porcelain. Okay, let me give the choices. The choices are A, jade, B, enamel, C, lacquerware, D, opalware, E, porcelain. Porcelain is correct. Um, it was that prized. And the secret of making it was so parang coveted no, sa Europe. But they finally discovered it in the late 18th century. So, Titus, porcelain is correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Riki, next question. Which programming language is known for its use in web development alongside HTML and CSS? A. Python B. Fortran C. C++ Emma I think it's Python Sorry, mali Again, D. JavaScript E. Ruby Titus um, D. JavaScript JavaScript is widely used in web development alongside HTML and CSS it is a scripting language that enables interactive web pages. Okay, check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Lu. Okay, Asian religions naman. According to Buddhism's Four Noble Truths, the origin of suffering is A. Craving B. Greed Emma, desire. Let me continue the choices. C. Anger D. Hate E, pride, walang desire dun sa choices. Sorry. I'm sorry, but time is up. The second noble truth pertains to the origin of, or cause of suffering, which the Buddha associate, associated with craving or attachment. The correct answer is A, craving. Okay, so we're now off to the last round of questions. Yes, with JV still in the lead with 230 points, Titus with 160, Alex and Emma are tied with 50 points each. Okay, so 90 points left for this last round. So, pwede pa rin humabol. Kaya pa rin. Okay, Prof. Sophie. Okay. Um, what is both a small medallion usually made of semi-precious material with a profiled head in relief and a small role performed by a well-known actor. A. Bit part B. Child star C. Tiara D. Brooch Titus Sorry, wild guess. Brooch? Mali po. Oh. Let me finish. Okay. Um, e. Cameo. Alex. E. Cameo. Cameo is correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Ricky. 
Okay. What is the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon? A. 360 degrees. B. 540 degrees. C. 720 degrees. D. 900 degrees. And E. 1080 degrees. The correct answer is 720 degrees. You can create four triangles times 180 is 720. Thank you. Last question, Prof. Lu. Okay, the last question is on Asian economy. Which Asian entrepreneur is the head of the Alibaba Group, a multinational technology company specializing in e-commerce and online retail? The choices are A. Mukesh Ambani B. Jack Ma Alex B. Jack Ma Let me finish the choices C. Ma Hua Teng D. Chen Yi Dan E. Jamset G. Tata Founded in 1999 in Hangzhou, China, the Alibaba Group Holding Limited engages in providing online and mobile marketplaces in retail and wholesale trade like online shopping platforms alibaba.com and taobao.com the correct answer is b jack ma k check and that's it for our k check ultimate pagalingan congratulations to jv our k check daily winner with a final Congrats. score of 230 points we'll see him again on friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals his second semi-final correct talagang back with the vengeance si jv Pero maraming salamat din kay Emma, Titus, and Alex for joining us today. And also, syempre maraming salamat sa mga miyembro ng ating panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lou. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.